Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 8 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. How's it going everybody? Uh, just getting logged in today, was doing a little bit of land clearing out. That was fun, and uh, actually did pretty well. I'm happy with my progress. Um, let's see, I'm just clearing out my farm a little. Now that I've actually like gone ahead and rearranged some stuff. Dude, so much good stuff here. Um, I uh, lucked out a little bit. Got another ender, ender lily. That was cool. And right now, I'm going to go test out my little sorting system that I've got. So I think most of the items that I need to sort should be in here. Um, let's see. It looks like wheat could probably go in there. Potatoes are in there. I want to put, like, my seeds. That looks pretty good. Carrots, they're in there already. Rice seeds, yeah, they're in there already. Rice, that could go in. And that stuff that looks cool right so I just want to hit that smart whitelist to update it and then kind of dump everything and in theory pretty much everything here should land in the appropriate chests because last episode we made a neat sorting system yeah so the only thing that landed in the miscellaneous junk chest are these two flowers that's it that's all that landed over there everything else boom right where it belongs awesome dude Basic sorting system up and running. Um, I think there's going to be an update to actually additions pretty soon that will add a mod-based sorting option. And then there's also going to be a way to set priorities on these guys. So those will both be pretty cool. Uh, today, let's see. So one thing I wouldn't mind doing, probably, is looking at expanding the sorting system and making it so that we can have maybe an auto-smelting environment going on. So for that, we're going to need a few things. Um, we're going to need power gen. And we're probably going to want to move this furnace. So I've got some black quartz, obviously, which is cool. Um, and I've got the coal generator and I've got the crusher. Yeah, all these things and the energizer will probably need to move. Um, and I'll probably even move this guy, the atomic reconstructor. But yeah, we're going to want to move stuff. And we're probably going to want to... And this will sort properly, right? Maybe. Yeah, it did. Nice. Right into there. Beautiful. All right. So, yeah. We're going to want to rearrange some stuff. I had to figure out where and how I want to do the structures that I want. So, give me a minute to come back, and we'll see what's up. All right, guys. We are back. And as you can see, I'm just cleaning up some of my inventory. I decided to place a tools chest over here. This will kind of be where I put all the tools that I'm not currently using at the moment. Pretty sure I had bronze on the auto sort. Yes. Excellent. Cool. So that's good. Um, so I have an idea. And it might be cool or it might be a pain in the patoot. I'm not 100% sure. But um, I, I think in, in the past I've done a couple different base design concepts, right? I've done one where like I have a big 9x9 structure and multiple 9x9s and all kinds of stuff, right? And other times I've done multiple buildings where each building has had a specific purpose. Um, and I try to design the buildings in some kind of, you know, good looking way around it. And I think I'm going to go with that method again uh, this time in this Let's Play series because I like the way that turns out. And because we've got these item transfer lasers, it should be relatively straightforward to do. Um, I could have like a cool, like, lamppost kind of system where we've got these item lasers that are, you know, branching out of our house and leading to other locations. And that might look really neat. Um, it might look cool. You know me and my ability to build cool looking things. Um, one of the first things I'm going to want to do though is clear out some terrain. Um, because what I've got right now, if we kind of climb back up to where I was a second ago and we want to start planning the design of our terrain in front of us here, um, we've got our nice little house that works. It's basic. It's straightforward. It does its job. And, uh, it's got a little storage room in it. We're going to probably need to expand that storage room. And obviously we'll get into things like refined storage and applied energistics at some point, right? Um, what I'm thinking is clear out the land to the left of my house. Because to the right, I've already got a little basic farm set up. I don't feel like moving that. Uh, and behind the house, I've got the animal farm set up, which I may move at some point. Um, but for now, I'm thinking like it might be a good time to start doing some land clearing. That might not be a bad idea. Um, so we're definitely going to want to get rid of this lake. We don't need this here. Okay. 
And how I'm going to clear the land, I haven't fully decided yet. I'm looking into, like, what a good cheap way to clear out a large amount of land would be right now. Because there's a couple approaches we could take, right? There's... So that looks good, right? So there's the builder from RF Tools. That's not that expensive. Just requires one ender pearl, which of course I don't think I have. Um, I could water and can the ender lily I have over here. It's almost grown. It grows faster if it's on end stone, but clearly we have not been to the end yet. So that's a thing. Um, so we'll have to look into that. The builder might be my best course of action for doing large sections of land clearing and manipulation. And hey, look, it grew already. Perfect. Beautiful. Well, there's your first ender pearl, guys. Woot. And there was much rejoicing. All right. Well, that solves that problem. <laughs> I literally went over to start watering that thing and i'm like how long is this going to take because ender pearls are really slow to grow and uh yeah so we're on episode eight i planted that thing what in episode one was it one or two and uh it finally grew so we've got an ender pearl let's try not to right click it by mistake uh so we're going to need some bricks we're going to need some redstone and we're going to need some lapis and gold ingots okay that shouldn't be a problem so two of you a couple of you a bunch of you sure why not um, and then we're going to need the bricks, which will probably be in here. So we do have some clay. Let's get like six, let's get 32 of it. I'll get, yeah, that's, that, that should be good. So what I'm thinking is having like an industrial processing complex. Sounds pretty cool, right? Um, and the basic plan there will be like the processing of resources. Um, and it might even be where I have some basic, let's see, I need a little more coal, I think. Let's get the whole stack of 38 there. It'll probably be where I auto-process a lot of my ores, but it might wind up also being something like, yeah, we definitely need more power going on here. Power is definitely a little bit of a premium right now. I don't know if it'll be also my power plant or not, or if it'll just be my processing room and if I want a separate area for a power plant but we shall see. Um, the only downside with building multiple buildings is that you always have to run lots of wires and cabling between them all. Um, but I'm hoping, and I haven't played with it too much, but I'm hoping that with the Actually Editions item laser relay system and liquid laser relay system, we could actually have like a pretty cool looking, usually it's like, hey, let's dig underground and run these long cables and stuff. Wouldn't it be cool if above ground we had like this whole laser complex of items like going between different buildings for different purposes and, and that kind of stuff. It would be kind of neat, right? That's what I'm thinking. And if it doesn't work out, eh, then we rip it down and we build something else. I think that sounds like a plan. Um, so you guys are almost cooked. Let's do this. Let's take these guys. We're going to get our bricks. That should be cool. And then um, let me make the builder. Now, how am I going to power the builder is the question. So the coal generator here is running. There is, and I think we skipped over them, but there is the energy laser relay. Remember, we needed those to make item laser relays. And they're pretty expensive in terms of redstone. And they do require a little bit of obsidian as well. But I totally think it's doable. So let's sort away you. Let's make our builder. Oh yeah, four iron. Yeah, I kind of like the idea that I have in my brain. I'm just not sure how it'll come out like in the real world, but eh, we'll find out. It might be neat. So let's take a look at item laser relays. Oh, we want energy laser relays. So it's gonna require a healthy amount of redstone. Couple of these redstonia crystals and some advanced coils. The advanced coils I would expect to be over here. The redstonia crystals are here. Cool. So, do we have any obsidian laying around? Probably not, because that stuff's also kind of at a premium. We've got three of it. So, if I snagged a bucket, I could make 
a little bit more real quick. At least enough to get my two laser thingies. Do, 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 do. One block of obsidian. Nice. And that thing actually cools pretty quickly. We're definitely going to have to look at getting more obsidian soon. Especially if we're going to need as much as we seem to. Hooray! Sleep through the night. Then what we're going to do is try and hook up this item laser relay system. The other thing we're going to need is the void card. Shape card void. Which ha, requires four obsidian. <sighs> Speaking of going to get more lava. Um, how about I do this? So I've got my fancy pick, right? Let's look at upgrading him. There's a few things I'm going to probably want to do. So, my pick is cool. It's It's got cobalt on it. I wouldn't mind getting cobalt on my hammer, but we're not quite there yet. Um, this is all the ores that need to be processed. This is my to-do list of processing ores. That's cool. We've got our bucket. Alright, let's take a look at upgrading my pick real quick. So, you currently have three modifiers available. Now, here's the trick. You can swap out all the components of your pick, but you cannot remove modifiers as far as I know. And um, you can't add modifiers. In previous versions of Tinkers, you would be able to throw items on here to give yourself more modifiers. That's not the case with this pickaxe. Um, you can maybe like swap a component out for, for paper, but then you get some bad stuff with that. So, I mean, it's kind of doable, but you really only get one upgrade from it. So let's think about what upgrades we would want. My plan is probably to throw Lapis on there to get Fortune, um, and then Redstone to get Speed. That's pretty much the idea. Um, in my Tinker's book, Materials and You, I should be able to take a look at all the upgrades that are available. So, Haste obviously increases mining speed, which is nice. Um, and Luck increases Fortune. Cool. Um, Adding more lapis only uses one modifier. So basically, we only need to put one modifier on this thing to get luck, which is cool. And um, sharp, we don't care about diamond and emerald, just increase durability. Fortified, increases mining level. We already kind of did that, I think, in the past or something else anyway, and we don't need that. Silk touch, no. Reinforced, no. Beheading, Bane of Arthropod, Smite, Fiery. Fiery is nice to put on weapons. That's kind of neat. Uh, necrotic heals you when you do damage to mobs. Knockback, Soulbound. Height and width. We might put these on our hammer. Um, mending moss, blasting. Nice. Uh, glowing. Some glowstone and magical under eyes. This sees, this sees the light level. Places a light source on low light level. That's neat. That's actually kind of cool. But I don't know if I'll put that on there. Empowery tool, the ability to shulker, hit enemies to render them powerless in midair. That's kind of neat. But no, we don't need to do that. Um, Slow your enemies with spite. Okay, cool. So basically, to me, the only thing I want on here is one layer of lapis. Um, because you can get up to, like, Fortune 3 with just one upgrade. Um, so we'll put a few lapis on there right now just to kind of hold that. So that it's, now no matter what, it's got um, luck on it, right? Um so that will hold on to the lock. And then we'll throw some redstone on there, and that'll get us some speed. So right now, our pick speed is 12. Let's bring it up to 15.79. That's cool. And then another set to bring it up to 19.2. That's actually pretty awesome. So we should have a really fast pick right now, in theory. Let's go downstairs and look at mining. And what I might also want to do is take this down with me because I wouldn't mind getting more lava. So I want to test out the pick, then we're going to mine obsidian for a few minutes off camera, and then we'll come back and play with these lasers because lasers are cool. Um, so there should be a little la lava lake down here somewhere-ish. You can see I've been doing a lot of mining off camera. Not that much, but enough. Enough indeed. Is this where it was? Where was that thing? 
It wasn't as far away as I thought. I always like overshoot where I need to go to get the lava. Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> See, like I said, always overshoot it. All right, so step one, let's do this. First off, let's just, yeah, that is fast. That is super fast. So step two, let's just put down this bucket for a sec. You're at 94, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That'll do. Okay, uh, back in just a minute. So by the way, look how fast this obsidian mines. It's like super fast. I should really get cobalt on my hammer so I could hammer these and get three pieces at once. That would be super cool. Anyway, back in a minute. All right, I think we've pretty much got enough obsidian for now. I've scooped up a whole bunch of the stuff. And, uh, come here you, thanks. 35, not bad. Cool, all right, back to the base. So with that, it should be easy to make a couple more of these. Beautiful. All right, let's sort the stuff. Except for that thing I just sorted, which is these. Didn't want them to go in there. And um, I'm also gonna want my laser wrench. Cool, and you can sort, and you can sort, and you can go over here. And mining backpack, did you pick up nothing? Cool. If I wanted to, by the way, remember, I could add the mining filter upgrade. I could put obsidian in here. So any obsidian I pick up goes in the backpack, but I don't think that's necessary. Cool. All right, so let's try this out. So with the builder block, the other thing I said I wanted to get was void, uh, which is this guy. So that's four ink sacks, four obsidian, and a blank card. The blank card, card is a couple bricks, redstone, iron, and paper. Bricks, redstone, iron, and paper. I do have some black dye, but I don't have ink sacks. Oh, I do. They went into here. Um, so let's get some of you. Because I remember redstone was involved here. Obsidian, bricks, iron, and paper. Iron, obsidian, bricks. And I can get paper out of rice, right? If I remember correctly, the answer is I think so. Sweet. So I should then be able to get a blank shape card, followed by a shaped void card, and that's cool stuff. All right, you sort and you sort and you sort and you sort. Let's sleep through the night because it's dark out and it's raining. Neither of those are conducive, and we'll be right back. So let's get a couple things situated. The builder block from RF Tools, super powerful block, literally can do almost anything. Um, it can clear terrain, it can act as a quarry, it can copy and paste terrain, it can move terrain from one area to another, it can julienne fries, like it can do everything. It can bake your breakfast, I don't know, it can do a lot. Um, the way we're gonna configure this guy is to clear terrain using the shape card void. There's a bunch of different shape cards and we'll be seeing these throughout the series. Um, but you can do stuff like pump out liquids, you can clear out terrain, you can quarry, you can, tons of stuff, right? Trust me, there's a lot. Check out my RF Tools Mod Spotlight if you haven't. We're gonna throw the shape card in there, but first we have to define the dimensions of the shape card. Dun, 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 dun. It's gonna be a solid box, which means it's going to be a filled square of area. What I can do is shift click on this and then choose corners. So I could say like from here, your ink. All the way up to, and I think I'm doing this right, but let's do like, hello creeper. I see you creeping. So I might want to clear this a little bit further. Let's do it like up to here-ish. Does that sound like a cool place? No creeping up on me, buddy. We're in armor, right? Yeah. Things you forget. Okay. To here. Cool. Now, if we want, we can just throw this in the machine and have it start running. But that's not what we want. We want to do other things. Uh, first, what I want to do is throw it in there. And I want to say support or preview mode. That'll show me like this little filled in area. 
of everything that's going to be cleared. So we have a good idea of what's going to be voided as a result of activating this thing, which is awesome. Nice. So this is this is the area, right, that we're talking about. I like that. Now I could go a little bit higher. Right? Did I go high enough? I don't know. These are actually solid. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit higher. Well, let's let it run, and then we can just clear out anything else manually. Cool. So that should be good. So now we know what it's going to look like. Uh, step two, we need to power it. Um, so we'll turn off preview mode. I'm going to hook up yoink to yoink. Now, obviously, that's a short range power, but uh, we're going to have more power things going eventually. There we go. Laser connected. Boom. And now we should be getting energy sent over to our builder block. Beautiful. All that RF is empty, all that RF is stored in here. This thing stores a lot of RF by comparison. Um, I don't know how much RF it uses to void things. Does it tell me? 150 RF per block. That's not terrible. I think the only other thing I need now is a lever to activate this bad boy. And we should be cool. If I did everything right, and I'm pretty sure I did, I think I just hit a lever on this dude, and he starts voiding. So I don't know where he's voiding at. Oh, it looks like over here is where he's starting. Nice, look, we're clearing terrain. It's a little bit slow. Slower than I had hoped, if I'm being totally honest with you. I hear you cows, trust me, I hear you. We might need to look into some more power options. So this thing produces how much again? I think it's 40 RF a tick, right? Or something like that. Coal generator. 30 RF a tick. All right, let's look at canola oil. Because uh, canola seeds can actually be used to make canola. I'm pretty sure I've got these. And that might be a really nice power source for a little bit, um, at least for some early game power. So let's turn this thing off for a minute, because you're probably just wrecking my power gen. I can hear things breaking. It's going to take a bit. So that can be turned off for a minute. You're going to start building up stuff. Let's save this coal for a minute. Do I have a canola farm? I don't think I set up canola seeds yet, correct? I don't think so. Might be a good time to. Let's get a water bucket, our hoe, and some canola seeds and get planting. So we've got five canola seeds. So actually not that much. We do have some canola, that's neat. Um, let's get, thought I had a hoe. I guess I don't. Wah, wah. Well, we'll make a quick one. I'm going to want my watering can. Check. And I'm going to want a bucket of water. So I'm thinking over here, I don't think I have any more worms, which is a bummer, because I would probably want this to be wormed. Um, everybody else is groovy, right? Yeah. You know what else might be cool? There you go, just to keep things going. So let's do, right now I've got this in a three by three area, right? So let's do another three by three. Now we can water these guys, I would expect. And they should grow, it doesn't take too long, I don't think. There's a couple things we can get in actually additions, by the way, that help speed up growth in addition to the worms, which you might want to look at. But uh, there's a couple things I want to test currently. So let's see. Once this gets to 100% growth, which we'll see with Whale at the top of our screen. Nice, right clicking gives you seeds, and the canolas, beautiful. That's kind of what I wanted to see, was the ability to right click. And that totally works, so I'm happy. 
So let me get a few canolas and we'll be right back. So canola can be used for a few things, which is cool. Um, we can use it to make ourselves the oil generator, which uses canola to generate power. Um, but what we have to first do is, let's see, I'm just curious. Oh, squeezer can make canola oil. That's cool to know. Um, but let's look at our book. So according to this guy, there's a couple levels that we can go through to get things going. First off, um, we can make our generator and we want to put it in a canola press to turn it into canola oil and then put it in a fermenting barrel to turn it into regular oil. That's how I remember it. Um, so there's several layers. So there's canola oil, which is the first tier. Oil, which goes from the barrel. Then you can get um, crystal oil and empowered oil, which we'll look at probably in the future. I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, we might be able to do one of them, but eh, we'll see. Now, you guys are still sending all your power over to here, right? I want to turn that off for a moment. I want to let you cook up a bit more power again. And let's get ourselves the two blocks we're gonna need, which is the canola press and the fermenting barrel. So the canola press is just Inori crystal and advanced coils. So we've got advanced coils. Okay. Um, and then the fermenting barrel is another Inori crystal with a wood casing and wood. And wood casing is just wood based stuff. All right, cool. So let's get a couple iron. I'm gonna get four of them and turn them into an, into those crystals. Boy, it gets dark fast in this game. Cool. Um, let's get some wood because I remember this thing needing. So the press should be craftable right now. I'm gonna get one of them for the time being. One of these requires power and I'm pretty sure it's the canola press. Okay, pretty sure. Let's give that a try. I'm gonna go pop this down right here. You've got power, which you are now sending into the canola press, which is full. We throw canola in there and it should make canola oil. Beautiful, okay. Now, if we want to get oil oil, um, we need the fermenting barrel, which is a wood casing, a bunch of wood, anori, and canola. Okay, that's cool. I need a piece of canola back, please. Let me get actually some of it back. Yoink. Could always grow more, by the way. So this guy needs more sticks. get a couple of them cool and then I can get I'm gonna get one for now because I don't know how fast it is and then we'll check that out the other thing we're gonna want is an oil generator which requires iron casings which don't look too bad some sticks and some black quartz two of them please I needed some iron didn't I I mean, it says iron casing, so I can only assume I need iron. Okay, not terrible. Now, we do need a way to transfer the liquids from here into here, and I'm pretty sure it won't happen automatically. Oh, it does! Well, look at that. How, how, how handy. That is super cool. This thing doesn't require power, as you can probably guess. Cool? Now, at some point, we're going to want to do this a little bit nicer than we're currently doing, because right now we're doing a very bad job of looking nice. But, um, so you should be able to go right here. Will you auto-transfer? Yeah, you will. Look at that. All the oil's going in there. And we're getting 100 RF a tick. That's not terrible. That's actually quite nice. That's really quite nice. Cool. So you're probably going to get a bit more power now, which is cool. So we've got the basics of a little bit of power gen going on. So you can get, I think this is changing the next version of actual editions, by the way. So I don't want you guys to get used to its um, abilities. But basically, let's see. There's 
The higher tiers in this version that we're in right now give you more RF a tick for the same time. Next version, I think it's changing where you get the same RF a tick for all four levels. So it's always gonna be, I think, 80 RF a tick or something like that, but it'll last longer. So the oil will have a longer duration instead of a faster speed. So keep that in mind. Okay, so you are ready to roll. Wow, look how fast it is using that, boom. All right, so at least we have an idea of what it's doing. So let's come back in a minute once it's completely, hopefully cleared out the terrain area. It definitely sounds like it's running faster. This thing looks like it's coming along nicely. Are we out of power by chance? Yeah, we totally are. We're completely out of oil. So let's throw some more canola seeds in there. And uh, this should, I don't know if it runs. So the press is definitely faster than the fermenter. So see how much quickly we're, we're getting canola oil faster than we're pressing it. You are, you look like you're burning it slower than we're getting it. So fermenting barrel is faster than the oil generator using it. So that's kind of good to know. Um, so this thing will run and do a fine job. How about we wrap up the episode here? We'll come back next time. This area will be clear. And then um, I'll probably pretty it up a little bit. Like I'll probably grab some dirt and, you know, get rid of some stuff. I might even help it out with my shovel off camera a little bit. I kind of had hoped that this would be a little bit faster than it is. And it's not going quite as fast as I had hoped. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to go help clear it out. Get myself a bunch of dirt so I can swapping wand it in a bit. Um, but for now, we're going to wrap up the episode. So Daryl20 is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to do some more work getting the base up and running. So again, the plan is to basically have a bunch of cool stuff. And I'm excited about it because it'll be fun. All right, guys. Daryl20 signing off. Take it easy.